It's already cheaper to replace a fossil fuel power plant with solar, wind, and batteries almost everywhere worldwide. But this new battery packet changes the game again. It's gonna make fossil fuels unable, and I mean completely unable to compete, and that even includes nuclear. Everyone's saying, you know what, you know what, battery storage is not the real answer for the grid. We, you know what, we still need nuclear, we still need coal, we still need fossil fuels. Well, CATL, the biggest battery company in the world, they come along and they've said, you know what, we don't agree with you. We have just revealed a battery pack that is the solution. All you need is some solar panels, some wind turbines, whatever. Pair them with this battery pack. And you're looking at the perfect solution. For the first five years, CATL say, you can use the hell out of this battery pack and it gets 0% battery degradation. Now, about 50% of the mega battery packs being used in the grid today are supplied by CATL. Basically, CATL is saying, you know what, if, you've, if you're ordering batteries through us, we're about to completely up the game. This is gonna mean the ROI or the return on investment for utilities, for grids, for businesses will significantly improve. In addition to that, the energy density is also higher. Did I mention that? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. And this is pretty, pretty amazing stuff here, guys. This is really revolutionary, next level technology because CATL, they already, they already have the cheapest batteries in the world. They are already very good, but they just got better. I mean, you're talking about the best getting better at the lowest prices. This is the biggest company in the world that even the Chinese government says has a monopoly. So how on earth do you compete with this? Well, if you're coal, if you're gas, if you're fossil fuels, you can't compete. It's that simple because the, the, the price of solar panels, them coming down in price by 93% over the past 10 years, means that if you just combine solar and batteries to serve 90% of the world's population who live on the Sun Belt, it's basically the perfect solution. Now, I know a lot of people disagree with this, but do you disagree because emotionally you're connected to whatever thing you have in your head? Like emotionally you're connected to the idea that nuclear is great? Because I used to be I used to be connected to the idea of nuclear. I used to think it was great. And I actually started doing the numbers and started looking at the trends, started looking at how expensive nuclear actually is, how long it actually takes. And I started to realize that actually we have the solutions here now. They're not nuclear, they're not coal, they're not gas. And in most cases, they're probably not even wind turbines either. Chinese battery giant Contemporary Airprex Technology Company just launched its new mega energy storage system. It's called Tan Heng. I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry, guys. Tan Heng. And it will supply massive utility scale grids all around the world. And of course, businesses and mining. Miners, a lot of mines now, rather than try and connect to the grid, uh, which can be a problem, they're just installing big batteries and solar panels and wind turbines as well. And they're just operating completely off grid. CHL rolled out Tan Heng at an event on the 9th of April. In other words, yesterday, saying it is the world's first mass producible energy storage system with 0% battery degradation for the first five years. Uh, CATL don't lie. So if they make a claim, they bring out a new battery pack, it's real. I mean, CATL's claims that their lithium ion phosphate battery, uh, the new Shenzhen battery, uh, they said it would charge at 550 kilowatt speeds. People thought, yeah, probably not. Well, it does. We've seen it numerous times now. Tanheng is a standard 20 foot battery that is in a container. It's equipped with CATL's energy storage specific lithium iron phosphate battery cells. The ultra long life version that doesn't degrade. The energy density of the storage system has also been improved compared to previous generations. It's now 430 watts per liter with a total capacity of 6.25 megawatt hours. In other words, it's the biggest standalone battery you can buy in the world. Uh, it's also very affordable based on the price per dollar, which is coming down a very rapid pace. Ten Heng has a cycle life of more than 15,000. Now, 
to give you some context, that'd be like an electric car, you know, doing about 4.5 million miles, 4.5 million miles. But CATL say it has more than 15,000 charges. Now that would assume you drove a full 300 miles per charge, but you're looking at at least a couple of million miles. If this battery was to go into an electric car, which it could, very well could. Demand for energy storage systems has grown exponentially over the past 12 months. The reason is because it makes so much sense. Here in Australia, the largest battery to ever be installed is actually gonna be installed about, about 20 to 30 miles from my house here where I'm living right now. It's just been approved. Uh, it was approved and now the final design, the final rollout has been approved and it will connect to the grid. It is going to, in combination with solar farms, possibly wind as well, I'm not sure on that one, it will replace one of the biggest coal power generators in Australian history when it is retired. By the end of 2023, China's share of wind and photovoltaic solar power generation reached 15.3%. That's enough to power every home in China. In some regions, it exceeded 20%, said Hu Dong, chief technology expert at the China Electric Power Research Institute at CHL's launch event. The biggest, the biggest uh, market for CHL here is not even Australia, where we are installing massive battery packs at a record rate. It's not America, we are installing massive battery packs at a record rate. It's China, where it's happening at a much, much faster pace. Fact, if you combine all the battery, massive batteries being built in the world today, which are so numerous, I can't even um, keep track of them anymore. I used to be able to, I can't anymore put them all together and they still wouldn't be as many as what China will do over the next 12 months. However, now the actual operating life of this battery storage system as per cnevpost.com is less, they're saying it's less than eight years on average in China. So a lot of these big batteries have been built in China, but they're not lasting as long as they should be. And companies are a bit disappointed. It's the reason CATL have come and said it, you know what? we are gonna guarantee this battery will last at least 15 years. And we're talking massive use, you know, being used constantly 24 hours a day. As the new energy sector grows, CNET Post says the demand for battery storage is growing at a, an extremely fast pace. That's one of the reasons why, you know, Tesla's EV sales went down in the first quarter of this year, but their battery sector growth actually continued to go up. This is putting high demands on the regulation capacities of energy storage systems, uh, meaning, you know, companies, they want battery packs. They don't need to touch, they don't need to think about it. They don't need to go and worry about um, problems with reliability. They wanna go and just build a battery, just forget about it. CATL has been involved in zero attenuation, long life battery technology for a long time. So grid, battery storage, mega battery packs, They've achieved a balance between energy density and safety on the Tan Heng system, said Yu Yin Mei, CTO of the company's energy storage business unit. The Chinese battery giants, the Chinese battery giants revenue is mainly contributed by batteries, by batteries going to EVs. However, its energy storage business is also growing rapidly, and that's leading to massive profits for the company. CATL's revenue for 2023 was 55.4 billion, up 22% year over year, according to its 2023 sales report. The EV battery business generated the most revenue at about 70% of that total of 55.4 billion, but it's grown by 20.57%. So EV, EV sales have grown by a pretty, a pretty big number but not by quite as much as its mega battery storage. CATL's energy storage business, CATL's energy storage business, so it's big mega pack batteries being installed around the world, that has grown by 33.2% year over year. So energy storage is growing at a faster rate than its, than its battery storage, battery products for electric cars. There's a lot of competition in the EV segment. There's loads of car companies, BYD's building factories all over the place. We've got heaps of uh, heaps of new battery factories coming up, but most of those are being built for, for EV battery packs, not for these energy storage packs. That's where CATL is starting to take a huge market share. And that's also where they are competing directly with Tesla. CATL's chairman, Robin Zeng, estimated last year that by 2030, the energy storage business revenue would be comparable to the automotive battery business. So it's 
it's going to grow fast enough to the point where it's only 30% of the company now, but it will be 50% within about six years. Big battery packs are now more economically viable than they've ever been before. And this is really going to do one big thing, and that is crush fossil fuels. What this means is it brings down the price of battery storage combined with solar or battery storage combined with wind or combined with both or combined with any other type of renewable energy. It brings the price down. If the battery lasts twice as long, it brings the price down by so much that many utilities around the world are going to be having to say to themselves, should we do it? Is, is now the time to pull the trigger? I think it is based on the cost versus benefit ratios. If you have a look at some of the batteries that have already been installed so far, they've made their suppliers, their owners, literally rich. I mean, they've made hundreds and hundreds. They've literally made probably, probably in the billions by this point in time. Have a look at what Tesla did when they installed their battery pack in Adelaide for Nguyen. New, I think it's called the Nguyen, the French company. Well, it, it did so well. It made so much money. They doubled the size of it a year later. Thanks for watching.